Hello, I'm Lux, and MLP's back from its short hiatus. And I'm Ember, and Discord is a jerk. And this is our thoughts on My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, Season 8, Episode 14, A Matter of Principles. What are we now, four seasons in from his introduction? And he's still being a gigantic jerk and endangering students? Yeah, that's the thing that really, like, pushed it over the line, the whole endangering students' lives in more than one way, because Yona, I don't think she can run that much, especially in the heat of the pony. Environment. Yak Yakistan is much colder environment. Her legs are shorter to her body compared to most of the other species. She does not have wings. References again, which is nice. Some subtle ones, though. Like how you caught how that particular student is still there. I just can't remember her name right now. I know, because I just look at her and I go, cotton candy? <laughs> I also go back to how sweet she was, and I'm like, they did that rather well, because both me and Amber were going, she's plotting something. Especially with that rook cutie mark. A strategist. At least that's what I'm implying from the cutie mark. Or interpreting, whatever you want to, whatever word you want to use. But funny how we still managed to just focus on the student six in terms of student interactions, because we have a whole school, but basically the student six are the only ones who get any lines or close-ups. I think it's just easier on the budget. I know they could reuse voice actors, but you also have to take more time to animate the ponies and other creatures. Instead of just having a simple animation in the background. I know, but you look at other school shows like, oh, Saved by the Bell. Even though you had your main cast, you still had a lot more interaction with other students. But it's cheaper to hire an extra than it is to pay your animators for more time of animating another background character. It's going to be an ongoing complaint on my part. Mm. And if you're wondering, though the next episode that was also shown on the same day as this one... We'll be going up next week. Our time schedule does not allow for us to do two time-lapse videos in one week in most instances. Every pony, please be patient. There's a whole internet out there to keep you occupied if you've run out of our stuff. Or just, oh yeah, if you run out of our stuff. But go back and watch our stuff. There's plenty of it. Even watch the really old stuff, which I go back and watch and go, wow, I've come a long way. I just had stills for the old ones, and I had actual time lapses, and uh, back when I couldn't control the length of the time lapse. Now I can. <laughs> but back to the actual episode of... Haven't we done that whole being left out thing with Discord before? Yeah, with the Grand Galloping Gala, and the Smooths, and Tree Hugger. Hmm, I wonder if it was more about Starlight Glimmer learning the lesson of accepting Discord and realizing why he was doing it, and less about the actual thing of him feeling left out. But he arranged for the main six to be gone. So he arranged for all of the principals to be gone, which means that, well, they're not principals. You have the principal and the instructors, but still. So he arranges for the main six to be away from the school, so, obviously, he thinks the main six weren't going to let him into the school. So, let's go down the next chain of command. Oh, put Starlight in charge. Okay, so instead of dealing with six powerful magical ponies who could lock me up using the magic of friendship, I only have to deal with one power-hungry unicorn. I can deal with this. But she's not power-hungry anymore. She's learned her lesson. Very much so, though you can still see it a bit in her reactions. Especially when you look at the body banishing spell, which didn't really look like a banishing spell. No, and oh no, I just banished him. He's fine. It just, it sounded like edited Dragon Ball Z. They've been sent to another dimension. <laughs> H.E. Double Hockey Sticks. Ah, uh, you mean the Home for Infinite Losers. Remember they had to change the writing on all the shirts. Oh yeah. I knew it wasn't hell, but I couldn't remember what they changed it to. They took away two of the lines off of the E to make it an F, so it was the Home for Infinite Losers. Ah. And I would have been fine with Discord just pranking 
But like I said, the actually putting the students in danger, also hiring Iron Will, that yeah. that borders on uh, mental abuse. That's what I also meant about the references. Like he he referenced Iron Will, he referenced the Dragon Tree, just a bunch of little small references. I'm like, eh, the background ones I more enjoyed. Also, the first joke at the very beginning of the episode where Discord talks about the mascot, and throughout the episode we see that poor mascot just floating away. I'm like, isn't anyone going to help it? Because <laughs> I have a feeling that looks like a pony in a mascot costume. Yes, I have a feeling it was. Oh, poor thing. But also, Discord basically just having a tantrum, causing problems for other people until he gets his way. Specifically, even from the very start of the episode. With the whole tricking the main six. Uh, crazy, crazy, crazy. And there shouldn't have been any real trouble with finding substitute teachers because I'm pretty sure Twilight would have already had a list of substitutes ready because they would have had to cover for when one or two instructors are out. So they would already have a pool of substitutes that they would call on. The question would be how many of those were available since they were having to fill every position. I have a feeling the ones we saw were actually the ones on Twilight's list, though maybe not Trixie. Probably not Trixie, but Mod and Spitfire I could see. Spitfire makes sense to replace Rainbow Dash. And Mod could do a good job of replacing Fluttershy. But also, where were the Cutie Mark Crusaders in all of this? They would have been good substitute teachers. Mm, yeah, they even like basically have the credentials and everything. Oh, uh, once again, good concepts go by the wayside for the sake of the story they wanted to tell. Because this episode also had that feeling to me of like, yeah, we're forcing the lesson in at the end here. It's not as bad as the classic cartoon of, this is the lesson we learn. But it felt a lot like that to me. Because I'm like, where are we going with this lesson? And then suddenly we learn the lesson. And we're like, yeah, that wasn't really shown in the episode. No, we know that Discord was feeling left out. But his reaction was to be a jerk, and apparently the proper response when someone is being a jerk to you is apologizing for making them be a jerk to you. Well, usually it's to um, fight it with kindness and tell them they're being a jerk in the most polite way possible to show how much they're being a jerk. And if they are friends to you and they're being jerks like this, they will feel really bad. But they really didn't phrase it that way, so... Yeah. Yeah, the, the, this was not my favorite way to end hiatus. No, but yeah, not as bad as some of the episodes I've seen. No, no, there there have been worse. We'll leave it up to your imagination or going back through the playlist to see if you can guess which ones. Yeah, I can think of one right now that really rubbed me the wrong way. But I see other people's point of view on it and see why they liked it. I just, it just... Drove me up the wall. Well, not everything is for everyone. But that's one of the nice things about the series is there's usually something for everyone. And for me, there were cool looking haunted paintings. This episode had a lot of nice little animation details in it. The whole haunted thing, the uh, special effects they were using for when Starlight was looking through the telescope at everyone. Uh, and the references and the little bits of lore that were actually placed in the series when we learned about the objects. Even if not directly, like through a painting of a changeling holding a scepter? Hmm. Interesting there, because those were changelings looking the chrysalis style changeling, not the more face style changeling that we're led to believe is the actual true form. Or it might just be a better form. Maybe they are the evolved form, not the base form. <laughs> Your changeling evolved to a fairy! Oh, we went from a dark type to a fairy type. Well, at least it's good against dragons. Oh, wait, no, what, what gen are we in? They nerfed that. <laughs> yeah, neither of us have played any of the Alolan games, just to point that out. I was semi-interested, especially since they basically announced, oh, we got a rare of HMs. Oh, finally! Took you long enough. Yes, yeah, so that was one of my requirements for going back to the main series. I know they're not going to do anything major, well, other than things they've already announced for the new Pokemon games for Go Pikachu and Go Eevee. But one of the last things both me and Ember really want from the Pokemon games is, can we please get rid of the four move limit? I don't mind four moves during battle, but 
Can you make it so we can learn more than four outsides and like maybe switch them out? Make a move playlist, basically? That you can, you can only use these four moves in battle? Or just something to change up the four move limit? I know it's like part of the strategy and everything, but I feel sorry for every time I have to make the Pokemon forget bite. I mean, how is it going to eat? I know. How about growl? All Pokemon can do is say their name. You just took away its ability to speak. <sighs> Ooh, I never thought of that one. I always just think of that comic about the poor Nidoran going, Nidoran forgot bite and learn this. And the Nidoran's all happy and then puts a bowl of food in front of it. <laughs> uh, but back from Pokemon to other colorful creatures. And actually, I would love for, other than putting some restrictions on it, Discord to create a haunted house. That would be fun. As long as there was, you know, a no dying rule and a no serious bodily or mental harm. Put those clauses on him, and if you ask him nicely, I'm pretty sure he would gladly follow those rules, because you could be surprised what you can live through. And, you know, he does play ogres and oubliettes with the boys, so just a little bit of that magic, just a tiny bit spookified. You know, I just thought would be a great, I just have a great idea for that. Pinkie Pie and him making a Halloween theme thing. That would be awesome. Ah, the wonderful dreams. I don't think we're going to get Nightmare Night this season. I don't know. The next episode is labeled after Hearts Warming. And I could have sworn that Nightmare Night came before Hearts Warming in the uh, pony calendar of moons. But from what I understand, the order of these episodes is a little mixed up in the American broadcast. So they could actually have a Nightmare Night episode later. They may have rearranged for that, in fact. Who knows? Who knows, because if they rearrange, why put the Christmas episode in August? I know, maybe there's something else in the episode that puts it better for this time of the year, kind of like how Disney was like, oh yeah, DuckTales, this episode has snow! And mentions the word Christmas, we need to delay it. Yay. So, perhaps this will be on record as our shortest pony-themed episode. <laughs> uh, probably. Yes, so this has been our thoughts on My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, Season 8, Episode 14, A Matter of Principles. Welcome back from hiatus! Or, welcome back from a hiatus. Woohoo! Oh wait, wrong show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, credits. I, I know we have these every week, but it hasn't been pony credits in a while. So, the usual... Like, subscribe, comment. Comments are fun. <laughs> uh, check out other videos. And then once you're ready to leave YouTube, you can find more of Lux's art on Tumblr, DeviantArt, and lots of other places. But those two he's more consistent with. Uh, commissions. Yeah, that's a thing. Check the link. Donations. That's also a thing. We have Patreon starting out at a dollar. Coffee increments of three. Oh, here's one we haven't mentioned yet. I took up a tiny spot in Lux's Tumblr. Ember's Emporium of Everything. I like saving money. I posted stuff about saving money and hacking the Starbucks menu and a few other things. Uh, more to come. Thank you so much for watching and listening. We appreciate all of the support that we receive and the form of views, likes, comments, dialogue, suggestions, and of course financially as well. But all of it is truly appreciated. Thank you to all of our supporters, subscribers, etc. in whatever form you choose to grace us with your presence. Oh, here's one we haven't mentioned yet. I took up a tiny spot in Lux's Tumblr. Ember's Emporium of em of yeah. <laughs> You can leave that as a <laughs> outtake.